What's up guys? Welcome to Chief Chat, episode number 60. How about that? 60 episodes, that's great. But in this episode, we're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs offseason, okay? You know, we're talking about the Chiefs as we always do. But in this episode, we're, uh, you know, we're going to be reviewing the offseason, okay? Uh, spoiler alert, A+. plus. It was an A-plus offseason. And here's the main point that I'm trying to make in this video, okay? You saw what happened in the Super Bowl. I mean, everybody did. Patrick Mahomes, every time he snapped the ball, he had about 0.2 seconds to throw it, and that's not good. I don't care who you throw at quarterback. They're not gonna be able to succeed when they don't have enough time to throw the football down the field, especially in an offense that is so reliant on big shots. If you don't have an offensive line to protect the quarterback for at least a couple of seconds, you're done. You can't win. As superhuman as Patrick Mahomes is, I mean, nothing was on his side. He was making these crazy throws. The receivers weren't catching the ball. It just wasn't good. He had absolutely no time whatsoever to just stand in the pocket and make a solid throw. He had to, you know, scramble, do his thing. It was, it was awful, okay? And obviously, the main reason as to why that was was the offensive line wasn't doing anything to stop the Buccaneers defensive line. Shaq Barrett was going crazy. I mean, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. It was bad. But take a look at what the Chiefs have done this offseason, okay? The first thing they did, okay? Obviously, this was kind of an iffy thing. You know, I wasn't too happy about it. Releasing Eric Fisher, releasing Mitchell Schwartz. You know, we're clearing house here, okay? We're rebuilding the offensive line. And I made that point a few videos ago. It's time for the Chiefs to rebuild the offensive line. I mean, I knew it. You all knew it. And, and you know, one thing that I always said, even right after the Super Bowl ended, I was like, the offensive line, it needs to be the Chiefs' number one priority here in the offseason. And I knew for a fact, you know what, as you know, as long as we're at least trying to rebuild the offensive line, I'm going to be happy with the offseason that we had. But not only did we rebuild the offensive line completely, but we have just stacks upon stacks of players that are starter quality guys. I mean, they're great. I mean, I don't even know who we're going to start at this point. It's crazy, okay? We brought in Kyle Long. I don't think he's going to start. We brought in Austin Blighty. I don't think he's going to start. Okay, it's crazy. It's honestly insane how stacked our offensive line is. There are no excuses for this group. Just none. Okay? Obviously, trading for Orlando Brown Jr., that was a W. Bringing in Joe Thune, that was a W. I mean, take a look at what Brett Beach is doing, okay? Let's give the man some props. He's doing a great job. The offensive line is just stacked. I mean, I can't emphasize it enough, okay? At the center, it's gonna be Creed Humphreys, probably. Either that or Austin Blythe. Either way, I'm pumped. Great player. Creed Humphreys, I mean, he's a beast. Austin Blythe has established himself as a solid center in this league. Left guard, of course, you're gonna have Joe Thune. Right tackle, or not left tackle, we'll go left. Obviously, we're gonna have Orlando Brown Jr. He's gonna be great. He's gonna be top notch. Pro bowler, in my prediction, he's gonna be great. Right guard, of course, you're gonna have the Canadian doctor. And then right tackle, of course, you're gonna have, uh, what's his name? I forgot, uh, Mike Remmers. Which honestly, I'm not, I'm kind of iffy on that. Mike Remmers starting at left, left or right guard, or right tackle, sorry, geez, I keep mixing up my positions. Right guard, I don't know, man. But I mean, take a look at the depth, okay? We have Kyle Long sitting there. I mean, he can play either guard position. And then we've got Austin Blighty sitting there on the bench. We got Lucas Nyang sitting there on the bench. And then we've got uh, Trey, Trey, I know for a fact Trey isn't his name, but this guy's a beast, okay, drafted him in the sixth round. The only problem is that he's having some blood, uh, blood clot issues. But aside from that, I mean, this guy is electric. This guy's gonna be, you know, an incredible part of our offensive line in a couple of years. I mean, he can play tackle and guard, and this guy's huge, I mean, he can move. I mean, our offensive line's stacked, okay? That's the first point I wanted to make, not only that we addressed the main issue on our football team, but we, you know, built upon some positions that we needed help on, you know? We got ourselves a solid linebacker in Nick Bolton. That was a fantastic move. We've made some trades to pick up solid corners, you know, good stuff by Brett Beach, you know, again, fantastic. And on top of that, we've built upon our offensive weapons, bringing in Cornell Powell. I, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better offseason from Brett Beach. I mean, you guys let me know in the comments if you guys disagree, but I feel like this was an A-plus offseason. Just top notch. Couldn't have asked for a better offseason, I mean, frankly. It it's great, okay? And that's all I really got to say, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching, okay? I'll see you in the next Chiefs chat. Peace.